Aloha everyone and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis, this is the Ascension Diaries, and it is Tuesday, January 30th, 2024, at 4.20 p.m. <laughs> We're going to look at the space weather that has been affecting us over the last 24 hours, most of which you just saw on the screen there as the big explosion of protons. Now, I'll be honest with you, I am emotional today in erratic ways, which kind of reflects, I would say, what that proton storm sort of appears on the screen as it beams around all of these very fast and sporadic, I would say, particles, charged particles. There's also an anomaly there on the footage where it seems like maybe it's passing really close to the satellite and it's giving it this kind of uniform up and down sort of blare out with white. Here it comes. It's going to be right there. Uh, very subtle. But those little moments, those are things I notice because I look at these so much and that's the kind of eye I'm trying to share with you so you can get ahead. And those of you who are new here, on my YouTube channel, Ascension Diaries, there is a playlist right at the top that discusses my space weather hypothesis. The playlist I would recommend is the video about how to become a space weather watcher right away. The basics and how to get started, how to use all the tools that I use. I put a lot of love and effort into that, sorry. And I'm just grateful to be able to share that with you today and share the data as often as possible so we can learn together. Now, uh, it's so hard to continue on because there's a lot of news about this particular solar flare. We haven't had anything as significant since on the 29th was this particular episode, but there was multiple coronal mass ejections or CMEs that happened with the M6.8, I believe it was, a near M7 solar flare and it blared out away from Earth but it was kind of while the sunspot was turning away from Earth and I'll show you that over here it's not even visible anymore so that makes sense so while that sunspot there was one over here was turning away it broke contact with us and sent out that solar flare in my opinion you can sort of see the magnetic looping of it still in this particular lens of the sun, but this activity was what caused all of what we are feeling today. It happened really quick, the impact of all those protons. It wasn't shy. It certainly sprayed in many directions, and I, I certainly feel like I endured it and am still feeling it, playing out in the desert in the raw desert sunshine. I was getting radiated and it was very uncomfortable, <laughs> but we took some really awesome pictures and we learned our lesson. Anyways, let's continue looking at those solar flares. Let's, I'll show you that data real quick. So 24 hours, things have been pretty slow. The biggest thing has been a C5 at around 1740 UTC, the last six hours, that's when that happened. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the three-day mark. So here's the 29th. Here's the large solar flare. And it was a cascading event. So the radiation kind of cascaded in. And you can see it on the footage. There was a lot going around. Like a big sneeze, basically. It, what it looked like. And some people talk about it that way, but I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to describe it. Looking solar wind-wise on Earth, though, and in the Earth response, I would say I didn't see a major amount of data, which is good. It was nice to just look at the sun and then get the solar proton storm warning right after, feel it come in today. Everything was pretty quick, and we might get more of that. So I'm just going to show you a few more views that I didn't get to show anyone yet. People were wondering about this particular region right here this dark line now please excuse me because I don't 100% know and there are some people who are better at this than me and I want you to keep doing the work I'm trying to catch up <laughs> and do my best I was under the impression it might be the coronal hole shadow that's doing that and in this it's just accentuated but it may also have something to do with the actual lens apparatus that's filming the Sun so I am not 100% sure on that, so just 
you're not going to get the answer from me. Sorry, you're going to have to find someone else for that with that information. This particular formation is pretty cute. I compared it to a fairy. It had little wings back there and all the little sparkles and fairy sprinkles. Sparkles hiding fast moving objects going in any direction. It's great cover. <laughs> it would be great cover. There's major storms though that I'm seeing the word bomb being used multiple times in two different locations on the earth when it comes to rainstorms or cyclones coming. One for California and one for Great Britain. And I don't know why they keep using that term again over and over, but I'm seeing multiple different people using the word bomb when it comes to these cyclones that are scheduled to be happening right now, basically into tomorrow and into the 1st of February. So just keep an eye on that, okay, you guys? There's some bomb energy going on, and when we... I'm seeing it in multiple places, so let's move on with the bomb energy. Last time the sun did a large ejection like that, someone noted that the Philippines shook a lot. The, those clustering earthquakes happened in the Philippines, and today we are having a cluster of earthquakes, but it's not in the Philippines. It's over here in the Virgin Islands and the Dominican Republic area, all Puerto Rico, this particular area, which is good because eyes on this area because the people or countries, I should say, owning this area, it's not even as visible on this map. We can zoom in on another map, but you can see here, obviously there's been a cluster in the Virgin Islands. And I'll be honest with you, I've just been getting a ton of synchronicities about this particular brand, this particular word as it's used in commercialism and used now and used in basically, what's the word? Colonialism, like uh, when you're colonizing areas, like the use of the such terms is very much flagging my ship right now. So I'm just watching it very carefully. If you guys have any more insight, just eyes on this area, you guys travel, whatever, you know, I'm just concerned about it, you know what I'm saying? So we're concerned that the situation was instigated and now this is happening. The timing is interesting. Watching the global consciousness though, it's been pretty steady compared to what I'm feeling today. So even though there has been erratic movements still, it could be worse. It could be better though. The currencies are, are also moving. They're moving around but a lot more yesterday I would say while this particular solar event was kind of more fresh was when the markets were moving around the most and I was getting the intuitive hit to shift money around basically to keep our finances moving and grooving and it was intense but we weren't able to initiate and fully pull through that until today so that energy was there for hours, that feeling. And I was being woken up even in the night, like, do it, do it. So I don't know, <laughs> that's more new for me, but I've been asking for that kind of pull to sort of get into the rhythm of the markets because I'm trying to understand them and communicate them better to you so I can discuss what it is that my partner does which is how people navigate their markets. So if you're interested in getting a session with him, you just have to contact him on his Instagram, Conscious Crypto. I'm gonna find it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Dot info, ConsciousCrypto.info. He's working really hard on his website right now. He's onboarding new people. The market is flourishing. It's springtime. It's the time. So if you guys are hearing this and you're like, oh, I needed that, it's chill. Just reach out. We'll, we'll see what we can do. No problemo. Let's look at the earth now and the response to this. If I can see it in the electromagnetic spectrum. So it's very, very, very subtle in the very, very low spectrum. I'm seeing some activity and a little more I would say bizarre activity in the Russian, which is a little more of a zoom in even more of the extremely low f frequency spectrum. This activity indeed is irregular as well as this 
So just keeping an eye on that. This as well, a concern here. Seems to happen pretty regularly though. So I'm going to just move along from that. We're not gonna do numbers too much about this today. The numbers aren't substantial. It's extremely subtle energy shifts. It looks more substantial than it is on these charts. So we try to be careful not to get too uppity, but even anomalies are still cool, no matter how subtle the energy is. To me, I enjoy it. And I like to keep it into the study as comparison. Now, with the lightning that's grounding in, it makes sense that we're not getting major readings in Russia or Italy in the electromagnetic field, the extremely low frequencies in the ionosphere to surface cavity of Earth that we're all in and sharing, at least those surface dwellers here of Earth. And the lightning is lining up along the sea over here. I don't know if you're noticing that, but this is unusual. And as I said, the lightning levels are actually pretty low. We're not, don't seem to be grounding in a ton of solar wind at this moment. So that's why we were over here. Ironically though, we are getting decently fast solar wind, I would say for the month, it's been not going very fast. And so this is just 65 kilometers per second over the average, which is 400 kilometers per second. And it's fine. It, I, maybe that's why I'm irritated. It's just that little bit of extra solar wind, which is due to these coronal holes, which are kind of subtle and we don't talk about too much. But this to me is what's causing solar wind to go a little faster. The wind escapes out of these areas just like the light does, which is why they're a little darker. If I'm understanding that correctly, air and wind is moving out. Can't see it over there because it's flooding over here. <laughs> so the stories haven't been that intense either. We're not, we're not seeing too many space weather predictions for any madness. So this is a calmer show. This is a calmer reading. We kind of made it already through the hump of that explosion out of the sun. It came, it went. Solar wind is high though. The earthquakes are the concern, I guess, in my opinion eyes on this area, Dominican Republic, obviously more so closer to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands in specific, Charlotte, Amali, which I've never heard of, but now we should know. Everyone who's feeling the tingle, like look it up and Google it and see what's going on over there. What's their geopolitical situation going on? We have just a little more evidence of the solar wind that's currently passing by us. I'm gonna see if I can reload this and get some data. Okay, not too crazy. I'm not seeing, like I said, I'm seeing evidence over and over that we're in a mild zone right now. So when it comes to the Mayan calendar, let's see, we're the white spectral wind. I dissolve in order to communicate, release breath. I seal the input of spirit with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by my own power doubled. Oh, well, there we go. Maybe there's some extra d power we're, we're running through our systems. In my opinion, that would make sense due to this whole shebang over here. This is all bouncing around inside of us as well. So those of you also reaching out to me during, if not right during or before this happened, I think I gave advice to about five people about what exact products they should buy for themselves to help chelate the heavy metals out of their body and they bought it and they it's on the way if not they're already taking it they're doing the clay foot baths and they're drinking the charcoal and the clay and the parasite cleansing and the oxidizing things and they're pulling and moving all that crap out of their bodies that's stagnant so good on you everybody I think your instinct served you very well and there might be more spicy explosions like this in the future to be concerned about so why not get up on that and if you want some help just all you have to do is message me I am that friendly we have moved into moon sign Libra right over here moon sign Libra you might have a strong need for balance and harmony right now. You probably desire to keep things rather nice than venturing into fundamental questions or order, or sorry, in order not to disturb the peace. You must learn to share your good and bad feelings. Do not be afraid to be who you really are, despite what is expected of you. Ugh, as a Libra son, I need to hear that all the time. But for real, we're trying to get balanced. We're not trying to instigate anything. And the organs involved here are your kidneys, your bladder, 
your skin, your veins, organs of touch, your pancreas, insulin, glucagon. Yes, surgical operations are okay today. Thank goodness, you guys. Surgery is okay. I got poked by a cactus little spike today. So thank goodness I got a little bit of DNA codes and surgery today, a little input into my bloodstream of that good organic stuff. Get out there and get poked by nature. <laughs> that's how I get all my... <laughs> that's how I keep up on all of my stuff. Just poke, get poked and stabbed slightly, regularly. Okay, so I'm just checking to see if the Aurora is going to do anything. It doesn't seem like it's going to. I just want to thank all of you again for subscribing to my channel. The subscriber count's going up. My Instagram count is going up. My account isn't being frozen this year so far, which is fantastic. I don't know what happened. Maybe my de sheer determination to push through was the key, but I'm getting somewhere and moving. I'm making new friends and meeting new people again on Instagram, which is kind of like my main spot where I can reach out. The algorithm allows me to meet new people. YouTube, we do our best, but it's best to do those interviews and share each other's YouTube channels and have people on your YouTube channels because it's pretty much the only way we're going to meet each other in this community. It's not exactly algorithm friendly because, you know, they did insert, you, they did put one of those brain chips in somebody just the other day as well while this was happening, this explosion. I'm not going to read into it because it just gives me the heebie-jeebies and I'm way too Ugh, for that like it just gives me the ick times 10 but of course if it was some cute reason like hey so this person can use their legs again I'd be like okay as long as there's no other use for that but clearly I don't think that was the use for that particular insert but why would you want something in your noggin while this is going on is what I'm thinking so just keep that in mind as well scientists I know they are thinking about it but <laughs> it is interesting we have moved beyond metals, I believe, is part of the conversation, too, which is a fascinating part of the conversation, but we can continue that on as we randomly roll through into the future together. Brave, with all of the planets and the sun on our side. So the sky is looking pretty unchanged, I would say, over here. I'm not seeing anything else to alert you about overall i'm just inviting you again here's the playlist right on my youtube channel please subscribe watch this one right here how to become a space weather watcher should be informative to you and then of course i have one that automatically plays which is one of the first ones i've done i might switch these two but for some reason i intuitively this was the biggest download of the most facts and information and research that i've compiled and then since then, I've kind of streamlined things since I've aged a little bit. And I didn't even realize I had done that until I was re-watching this video. So things fall away when you learn stuff and you don't even realize. So having a diary is really great. And those of you who reread your diaries and journals probably realize this too sometimes. So we're going to do a meditation now. And we're going to look at the global consciousness dot. Hold on, I'm gonna do a quick scroll through Twitter just to be sure I know I didn't miss anything important. Oh, that's very nice. So this is the fair of the well of that sunspot turning around. It could turn all the way around again and see us again. These coronal holes have, but <laughs> since it's been so epic, I don't know. But let's, we can even meditate to this. This is sort of the energy we're bodying right now. I would say the it frazzles the nerves a little bit is what it feels like and if you look into research about the heart and the pulmonary you know systems and stuff you know your artery systems your blood pressure it is affected by this these movements with the sun and the earth frequencies and stuff so if you're starting to see yourself getting tense out of nowhere that's what the practice of meditation is for is to remind us that we can actually slow down and we can re-sort ourselves out. So let's take a deep breath in. Hold. Breathe out. 
Good. Bigger breath in. Hold. Breathe out. One more big breath in. Hold. Breathe everything out. Hold. Receive your vision. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right. Well, I got to see a lovely mountain, snowy mountain with some glacial rivers coming down. I think I've seen that before in one of these videos. I could, maybe it's the same mountain I'm seeing over and over. Interesting. Part of the fun. Continue your meditation. If that was starting to feel really good and you need to do more, I will speak softly until the rest of this video is over. I'm just going to squeeze over global consciousness dot take a peek and see what happened we're doing good we're getting closer to the blue in the moments of chaos remember that there was once coherence in our lives and that it will return just imagine these waves they may look invisible in certain ways but they're rolling through our atmosphere and you can feel them and they do affect you I promise and you know it and just Give yourself that leniency if you can. Try. It's worth it. Thank you so much for following my channel. Please hit that notification bell on my YouTube channel and my Instagram if you want. But the best way to get a hold of me is joining my Patreon. So I give all of the goodies to my Patreons directly. You guys get the email. You get these videos, you get the updates, everything that I think will be shifting your energy and a little more details of what I actually think you should be looking at for those of you grid workers, guardians out there. I don't take this lightly. I am watching to be sure we are safe and sound. And I know many of you are too. It is our way and I have some helpful stuff for your watch and for your family's care and I appreciate being needed for this skill and all of your loving feedback keeps me going and so does the pledges on Patreon I'm not gonna lie those are pretty nice so if you're interested please head over there and I'd be honored to continue making content with the boost of your confidence that is your pledge on my Patreon. I love you all. We are here with world peace in our hearts, in our vision, and in our crowns. Thank you for subscribing to stay. I'm grateful to be sharing this creation with you. I'm glad to be training the, the sun watchers and enjoying solar cycle 25 as it moves into its maximum strength potentially this year. We will see, that's part of the study of solar cycle 25. We will see. Thanks for being here, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.